hello everyone welcome back today's video is gonna be about the parasitic root knot nematode i'm gonna be sharing with you what you should know about this parasite and then how you can take care of it if you have an infestation in your garden Alright guys, if you observe that you have an issue with root knot nematode in your garden as determined by the way you see nodules in your roots, then you can go ahead and plant a cover crop and this particular type of cover crop is mustard. So I threw some seeds of the mustard greens and eventually I'm going to remove all of these plants you see here and walk it into the soil now the mustard green has compounds within it i think it's known as glycosinolates which are like sulfur compounds that organically will kill the root knot nematodes the parasites that's what i'm trying out this year through the seeds these are about i want to say three weeks old i will not let it go to seed at some point i'm just going to chop everything down walk it into the soil and let the sulfur compounds deal with the root knot nematodes. So yeah, even if you're not dealing with any root knot nematodes, it's still a good idea to plant a cover crop to just get manure from the cover crops back into the soil and to prevent erosion. Today I will be applying the root knot nematode treatment on this bed. This bed has 
been attacked by the parasitic root knot nematode how i know well um if i pull the spinach we are probably going to find like nodules these nodules right here see these nodules these nodules yeah that is because there's a parasite and the name of the parasite is um, a root knot nematode i don't know the scientific name but it lives in the soil it attacks the roots it causes all of these bumps it compromises the roots the roots can't absorb nutrients and then your plant dies well the spinach is not yet dead but when i plant things like tomatoes peppers amaranth um, the fluted pumpkin greens okra that kind of stuff on this bed it gets attacked by this same parasite i've tried other i've tried the um planting mustards here and then walking that into the soil because that's a biological way to control the root knot nematode and that has really not worked so i found this pesticide that i'm gonna try to apply and hopefully it solves that problem so first let me harvest the rest of the spinach and then i will show you the pesticide and we'll apply it and keep our fingers crossed that it solves that problem i'm done harvesting the spinach that is the bed this is how much spinach i got look at the problem the root knot look at that that's exactly what i'm trying to get rid of control if i can you can see spinach with the roots not attacked it's kind of smooth looking like this you know it's supposed to just be like this and then this is what you get when you get an invest infestation all of these nodules the one that has not been attacked looks smooth like that so i'm hoping that treatment works this is the product that i'm going to be using to control the parasitic nematodes this Monterey nematode control. You can see it says for residential use in home garden. So it's safe for use in the garden and lawns. And it is OMRI listed for organic use. Okay, so when using pesticides, always read the label for safe use. Okay, so when you peel the back like this, it gives you the labeling instructions all the information directions for use and so on and so forth so we're supposed to mix this with water and then we can apply with a sprayer and it says that after mixing we need to apply the solution within three hours of mixing so do not mix if you're not ready to apply okay let's mix the nematode control pesticide the instruction says um eight ounces per six gallons of water so in my spray container here i have one gallon so that makes it about 1.3 ounces in one gallon of water i did the math and one point one ounce is about two tablespoons so i have my tablespoon this is two tablespoons. I'm just gonna do two tablespoons. Ooh. It has this brown color. it mix it mix it then pressure rises okay we are ready 
ready to go spray. Yeah, thank you so much for watching if this video added value to you do not forget to click on that thumbs up button and i hope i have earned your subscription here we are learning how to cultivate our green thumbs because when we grow a garden we grow health help me share this video and until next time bye